All right. All right, we are live, live in full effect. Thank you for joining me. Um, I wanted to share this with you. I actually stumbled uh, across this. Someone brought it to my attention, but the the motel, the Rosebud Motel in Schitt's Creek, CBC's Schitt's Creek, which is a really uh, great show, is for sale. So I wanted to go through that deal with you guys. Uh, I thought it was pretty pretty neat. Um, again, uh, did the live, got into about five minutes into the conversation and someone called. So we'll try this for the second time. If you're just joining me, my good friends, don't forget to subscribe. Um, you know, this is a business, real estate, personal development channel. I will give you uh, my life experience in exchange for smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you get notified the next time I'm doing a, a, a video. You're going to want to do that. <clears throat> so, um, I fell in love with this show this this year as a result of COVID. Obviously, uh, watching a little bit more Netflix, I stumbled upon the show. Uh, I've heard about it in the past and just jumped on the bandwagon. And uh, it's, a, it's a really great show. I loved it. And uh, someone said, hey, did you know the, the Rosebud Motel is for sale? So I want to take a look at it. So let's, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get close. Let me see if we can do this a different way. No, that's probably the best way here. Yeah. Let's have a look. So we'll do this. Do this and let me see if I can kind of center it for you guys. Perfect. Get a little bit closer so we can have a look together. So there it is. Rosebud Motel. Actually, for, for some of you that did not know, some of you may have known, this is a Canadian show. Um great show. If you, if you haven't watched it yet, you know what? Netflix is there. It's a good time to watch it. But uh, I want to go through the property so we can see it. I mean, we, we saw what we saw, like, um, in the show. But actually, the inside is quite nice. Wow. Great for owner-occupied, run a motel. Um, you see there's a, it's a big piece of land. And there it is, the Rosebud Motel. There's actually a video that goes with it. So let's play the video. Let's see if we can find the video here for just a second. Uh, where's the video? I know there was a video. 6.7 acres, which was great for filming the show. I think, you know, um, and I'll analyze this. We can analyze this together. Um, I don't think there's much in way of numbers, but I'll, I'll tell you if I would buy it, um, definitely as a novelty. Where is that video? I think the video's at the bottom. Here it is. I don't know why. Let's have let's 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 click on the video. Beautiful. Shit's Creek. You can you can have a part of history, guys. You can be a part of history. Manager's suite. I'm sure a lot of people, with the popularity of the show, many many people are going to want to uh, come and visit as a as a novelty. I guess six point seven acres. Yeah, you could probably turn it into living, just regular regular uh, apartment building an hour so an hour to downtown Toronto So yeah, so <laughs> again, uh, I'm not I'm not promoting this um, 
I'm not promoting the um, that you go out and buy this. I just thought it was a nice novelty, and also um, really nice to to share this with you guys, um, especially right after I actually just finished watching the entire show um, about a month ago. And so I wanted to, to look at it, look inside of it, and show you guys. Some of you may already know, but there it is, the Rosebud Motel. Um, now, $2 million, um, as I always tell everyone, you know, for me to be interested in a deal, there has to be a return on investment. Um, this, as a novelty, I think it's, it's got a lot of potential. Now, it's hard to, to determine how much money uh, we're going to be able to generate from this. I know it's 6.7 acres. Um, I, if anything, it becomes a tourist attraction. But I don't know if it's worth $2 million, to be honest with you. I would, I would want to see, like, if you have 10 rooms. I can't remember how many rooms you got there. Um, traveler. Uh, I can't see how many rooms. 10 rooms, yeah, separate cottage, has got a separate cottage. So you got 11 rooms. So let's say you got 11 rooms, 11 rooms, uh, let's say you can get 975 a room. Um, Man the manager's room, you could probably rent that as well. Like, I'm looking at this if you were just rented like a straight rental. Uh, you got like 11, 10 bachelors, is that what it was? 10 bachelors. So I would say a bachelor, you, let's say you get 975, 900 for a bachelor. And, uh, and then the other, the manager's quarters, you could probably get um, $2,400 for. I don't know the, the, the exact uh, market here, but let's say you can generate, and then the cottage, let's call it another thousand bucks for the cottage. Let's look at it as a rental. Um, you know, so you're looking at 14 times 12, you're looking at about 169,000 a year. Uh, let's say 35% expenses, an NOI of about 110,000. Uh, if we divide that, this is like, you know, this is uh, suburban, let's say 6% cap rate. Yeah, they probably, you know, it looks like a, a like on a, on a 6% cap rate, if you were to convert it back to units, you probably could get it for 1.8. Um, I was very, very generous with the, with the rents. Uh, let's say, a, a solid rate, you could ge generate a nice little business here as a motel. I don't think so. I think it would be more like uh, I think it would be more like a novelty thing. Like, oh wow, I own I own Rosebud Motel, you know. Uh, and for a novelty, I think I'll I'll stick to uh, my original goal of getting a, a DeLorean. <laughs> but you know what? I thought it was re it'd be really nice to at least look at and analyze it. So. Based on, on quick numbers with generous rents, and if you could rent it as a, a put it, you know, convert it back to an apartment building, it, it'd be probably at a six cap, it would be probably worth around 1.8 million. Um, as a business, maybe 1.5. Um, but you never know. I'm sure someone will definitely see the value here. You got 6.7. Now, the land, we didn't talk about the land. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just coming to it from an income approach, but there's land value. If you created a, maybe an amusement park. What do you think guys? Um, comment, come, comment in the comment section. Um, what do you think we should do with this property? If you were to buy this property at 2 million bucks, what would you do? What would you do with the 6.7, uh, acres? It's a big piece of land. You got a cottage on there. You got 10 rooms. What would you do? with this motel what would you do with this motel how would you you know how would you uh generate income turn it into a massive tourist attraction Shits creek um museum you know or or Schitt's creek uh Schitt's creek land <laughs>
<laughs> right? You could you could turn it into like a crazy uh, you know a crazy a crazy little investment here. Uh, I'm just having fun with it. You know, most people know that uh, my typical investment is always going to be um, it's always going to be in apartment buildings that generate income. I just thought it'd be fun to, to look at this. So comment in the comment section. What do you think? Should we buy Rosebud Motel? And I'm curious to know how many of you would buy it and what would you pay for it? Would you pay the $2 million? Uh, I, just, uh, I just did a quick analysis of, of what I think it would be worth. I, I, I think, you know, from an income approach, you know, 1.8 They'd probably take it. Who knows? Uh, for my motel approach, maybe 1.5. Uh, it, it's going to be difficult because, of course, you're going to get, you're only going to get uh, income based on uh, like a novelty situation, right? It could be a nice bed and breakfast. I don't know. Guys, what would you do? How much would you pay? I want to know. I'm really curious. How much would you pay and what would you do? What would be your plan to do with all of this land, right? It's kind of out of my element, right? I, I like apartment buildings, but what would you guys do? What would you do with this big piece of land? Rosebud Motel. Would you franchise it? What would you do? I want to see... In the comments, look, 6.7 acres of land. You got a little co a separate cottage. Um, Two-story manager suite. Wow. Uh, you, got, you got 10 rooms. Like, I mean, the, this is like a fun little property. You can move in. You have 10 rooms. Uh, Two million bucks, guys. Two million bucks for 6.7 acres. I mean, they're not making any more land. Look at, look at this. You can look two story. You can live there. It's gorgeous. It's really, really, really gorgeous. Earn some income. Go fishing every day. I mean, what would you guys do? Put it in the comments. I will read and answer every comment. Uh, give me thumbs up. Give me thumbs down if you don't. If you don't want to buy it, if you think it's a bad investment, uh, I want to hear it. I want to hear it from you guys. Um, you know, I don't say I don't. I'm not saying that it's a bad investment. It's just not an inv investment for me. It doesn't fit my uh, criteria of an investment. You know, you got you guys. Everybody knows I love income property, but as a nice novelty, you know what? It'd be uh, it'd be a cute little thing to own. Put it in the portfolio. Uh, it'd be cute to you know for someone to buy it, scoop it up, and actually live in that uh, in that two two story. Uh, manager's quarters uh, and rent out the other 10 rooms uh, and actually you know you could you could actually make it uh, really really a nice little fun place 1.8 is the max that I would pay for this um, but you never know you never know so I'm really interested to see what you guys think how much would you pay for the Rosebud Motel and what would you do with it? Comment down below. My good friends, thank you for um, stopping by once again on my live. I really do appreciate it if uh, you find value here. Uh, if you're just joining us, I suggest that you check out all my other videos. I have videos on real estate. I got videos on business. I got videos on personal development, uh, my personal hacks. You can check me out on, uh, on the web. Go to my website, alfonsoquadro.com, and let's connect. Let's build, and maybe we can buy the Rosebud Motel together. All right, guys? Alfonso loves you, and we'll see you at the top.